Hello friends, this is Margaret from Alabama Prepper. Thank you for watching my channel. <sighs> Been a busy day today, but I did find time to go get my hair cut. It had got so long. Went ahead and got it cut real short because it grows so fast. In two weeks, it'll be grow back out there again. But anyhow, we are going to make some bread today. Um, I got a mixer slash bread machine uh bread mixer for uh christmas and i haven't got to use it uh, i've been studying a lot on it but anyhow i want to make some bread uh i've been looking for a bread recipe we love wheat bread but we don't like a hundred percent wheat bread so i found a, a recipe before christmas that was uh you use bread flour and you use wheat flour in it so i think i'm really going to like it so if you're interested in making bread or interested in watching me make some bread well we fixing to get started and see how this recipe turns out okay this recipe calls for three cups of warm water, 115 degrees, four and one half teaspoons of active dry yeast, one third cup of honey, five cups bread flour, three tablespoons of salted butter melted, one third cup of honey, and one tablespoon of salt, and then three and one half cups of whole wheat flour. This will make two large loaves, or it will make three small loaves. I'm not sure yet exactly uh, if I'm going to make the large loaves or not. But what we're going to, I'm waiting on my water. Your water has to be 115. Mine right now, I'm letting it warm up or cool down just a little bit. It's 125 right now. It's, it's getting on down there, but we'll give it just a minute. Uh, we're going to be mixing water, yeast, and one half cup of honey. So, we'll go ahead while we're waiting on our water. Mm, I think I'll wait on the water. Yeah, I don't want to put it in there. I uh, have been wanting to make this, but all I, ha I did not have any active yeast. So I had to go to the grocery store today. I went and got my hair cut. So I decided I'd do everything I could do while I was in town today because uh, to keep from having to go so much, it is, <sighs> we only have Walmart, we have Pick and Save. There's a Piggly Wiggly across the bridge into East Britain. That's all we have. Uh, our pick and save, you have to pay 10%. Whatever you buy, you pay over 10%. That's just the way they're set up. Our big giant in Flemington is home-owned, and they have about the same prices that pick and save have. So I had to go to Flemington today to get my hair cut, and so I run on in uh, our food giant in Century, to uh, to just pick up a couple of things because last week when I went uh, I went over my budget so I have to I've got to be careful for two or three weeks anyhow but I've been wanting to make this bread and I've been wanting to use this uh, mixer so bad that I wanted to learn it before I started using it so uh, Anyhow, I th we're going to try it today. If I can get this water to come down. I'm going to pour about a third cup off of it. Let me see what happens now. Added a little bit of, took some off and put some on. Well, let me get it down to the right temp. Okay, we're good. 
So I'm going to try to bring you in closer so you can watch the machine. Let me get my stuff. My kitchen is so little till I just don't have room enough to hardly do anything with. But I'm going to try to get you where you can halfway see what we're doing. Okay, we're going to go ahead and add uh, three cups of warm water. We're going to add uh, four and a half teaspoons of active, four and a half, yeah, teaspoons of active, yeah. One, two, three, four, and one half teaspoon. And we're going to add our third cup of honey. Really? Let's see. Don't want to come out. Okay, it says add one third cup of honey. And now it says to add five cups of red flour. I'm sorry, I've got to look red flour. Okay. Five cups of red flour. Let's see if we've got five cups in here. Alright, this is going to be half cups. I, uh, I don't know where my cup is at. So we're going to put one. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. Ten. Oh, it's actually five. So now we are going to start stirring. Okay, we're gonna. It is a is mixing down in there. So.
stir it just a little bit. Looking good. Okay, we're gonna go again. Okay, now it says to cover until bubbly. So we are going to All of my dish towels are in the dryer this morning. All of them are dirty. So we're going to see. Oh, I'm not going to undo this. So I'm going to try. Let me see. This is an old dishcloth. So anyhow, we're going to cover this for 30 minutes. And then I'll bring you back. Okay, we're fixing to take our cover off and oh my goodness look how bubbly that is bubbly very bubbly let me put my butter in the microwave for just a second okay so now we're going to add oh uh, I melted three tablespoons of melted butter I'm sorry, I have to, uh, melted butter, salt, we're going one tablespoon of salt, and one more, one third cup of honey. Add this in. Get all that honey out of there. Okay, and it says uh, mix it in. And now we're going to add two cups of wheat flour. Now we're going to add one more cup of wheat flour.
okay that looks like it smits good now i'm gonna uh clean clean my cabinet off and get it take it out of here and put it on the some flour on the cabinet and we'll start uh kneading it okay we got our dough out of the out of the bowl we're gonna spread a little bit of the wheat flour you reserve one half of white of the wheat flour to um put down for kneading the bread now the bread has to be kneaded for 45 i mean for excuse me for five minutes that we're going to need i love the way this feels so far I'm going to go ahead and get it kneaded, and when our five minutes is up, well, I will bring you back. And for those of you that might ask, uh, I did clean my cabinet before I put my bread in there. So, we are going to add a little bit of olive oil. I'm going to put the bread, put my bread in it. Squish it and I'm going to turn it over so that the oil will be on both sides of it. And I'm going to take it now and I'm going to cover it up until it doubles in size. And when it doubles, uh, we'll start making our loaf. Okay, we're going to check our dough. And I do believe it has doubled in size. So, we're going to sprinkle a little bit more of our uh, wheat flour. And we're going to get it out of here. Punch it down. Get all the air bubbles out of it. As many as we can get out. Okay, now I'm going to use three pans. I got three pans over here. And I have uh, put some butter in them. They're old pans. I haven't used them in a while. Put the butter in them. Then I sprayed them with some Pam. And then I put a little oil in them. So we are going to try to divide this. I don't think I'm just going to go this way. I believe this is the smallest, so it will go in the smallest. So, we're going to shape it up. Okay, and I'm going to take it and start rolling it. And I'm just going to roll it real tight. I'm going to take the end and try to pinch it together with this. 
close it up. flower on the top and I'm going to place it in one of the biggest pans over here. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing with this one. Try to push it out a little bit. trying to rise with me fooling with it. Come on, take it and pull it together. I believe this, this part was bigger than my other one. That's okay. Try to put it together. Take it and we're going to put it in here. All right, now this will be our smallest one. And I'm telling you, this dough is trying to rise with me fooling with it. over and try to pinch it together. Flower. Roll it in the flower. Put a little bit on the top. Put it in this pan. I'm gonna put a little bit of flour on this one. Now we're gonna leave them until they rise an inch above the top of the pans, and then I will bring you back. Okay, we fix and uncover our bread. It looks like it has really rose. Wow, look at that. We are gonna take a little bit of egg wash. And go over the top of them. Well, if I'd have put two in one pan, it'd have been huge, wouldn't it? Put a little egg wash on it. Now, we're going to put this in the oven. we got our oven ready, 350 degrees. We're going to bake it for 30 minutes. And then we may have to cover it up with foil. We'll have to wait and see what it looks like per the recipe. I could move my egg wash over here and then I wouldn't be, I'm bad about that. Reaching across in front of the camera. Put our egg wash on. And then we're gonna stick it in the oven. And when it gets done, I start to take it out of the oven. I will bring you back. Our bread turned out so pretty. Isn't it gorgeous? It's been cooling now for about 10 minutes and I'm gonna take it out of the pans and put it on a cooling rack. <laughs> looks great and as soon as it cools enough we will cut a piece and see what it tastes like okay i cut a piece of our bread 
And oh, look at that, it looks so good. See, can they get me some butter or maybe some jelly and try a piece of it? It is really pretty. I'm very proud of it. I love the recipe and I love my mixer. Very proud. If you like this recipe or if you like this video, please subscribe to us. Give us a thumbs up. It helps our channel to grow so that we can put on more videos. Thank you for all our subscribers and you have a blessed day.